Hi everyone, it's Jess from Audio Plugin Deals and today we're going to be reviewing the Vivum bundle from Audifier which features three separate contact instruments um, called Astra, Terra and Luna. Uh, these are kind of cinematic ambient soundscapes all with like their own individual kind of styles um, which we'll be diving into shortly. So if you like what you see so far, uh, you could hit the subscribe button or the notification bell so you can see when we're live next with deals just like this. Hello. Okay, so we're just going to dive straight in here and have a little look at what the three sample libraries sound like together. So I kind of knocked up a quick little track to sort of get a feel for what kind of sounds you can experience when you're playing around with this sample library. Just to remind everybody, this is for Contact Full, not Contact Player. So you will need to have the full version of Contact in order to use this. Um, but yeah, so we've got featuring here we've got Astra, Terra and Luna all together in this one little track. So we'll have a quick listen here so you can kind of get an idea of what we've got. So we can see straight away we have Astra uh, loaded up here, uh, one of the three, and Astra is mainly evolving kind of soundscapes, kind of mutate over time. Um, and there's quite a lot to these interfaces. All three of them do have the same interface, which is quite handy. Um, and they have a lot of really awesome features which help you create your own kind of unique sound. Um, for example, they have um, category filters down here. So for example, if you'd like to filter the sounds by attack, like fast attack, and um, all these different sound layers. So this honeycomb um, sort of section here, each one of these hexagons represents a sound layer. Um, so by filtering it will light up the ones that are of that specific type. Um, so we have fast attack ones which leave us with 48 layers here. So this little bit up here will let you generate um, as many layers as you want up to the amount that are available. They don't recommend you do this because it will drain your CPU like nothing else. Um, but yeah, um, it allows you to have quite a few layers on top of each other, different sounds, which can help you create a new sound that you want for your piece. Um, or if you want to, you can randomize. Um, so if you want all the layers on here available, you can just randomize them and it will just pick random amounts of layers for you. You know, if you feel like, I don't know what I want today, I'm just going to press the button and all of a sudden you get this. Uh, just to point out as well, the volume I notice when I load them up is usually quite low, so I tend to turn it up a little bit here so we can hear a bit better. There we go. Nice random sound. There's also um, plenty of presets to play with as well, so for example, we could pick, which one do we want? The solemn one, back in here. So holding that down, you can already hear the changes that are kind of happening. It's really, really pretty, I love these so much. Um, also, you'll notice that this particular preset has five layers. You can easily just add more or take them away to kind of start off with a preset and then kind of create your own one out of it. 
Um, you'll notice that when I light one up, it comes up with the name here of that sound. Um, and you're able to kind of edit the, the attack, the hold, decay, sustain and release um, for that track. At the moment, this little button here um, actually enables it for all of them. But if you'd like to just make it a specific layer that you apply these um, parameters to, you can untick that. It also has envelopes for pads and plucks to make them shorter or longer, um, which is another good feature of this sample library. Particularly what I like is just the ability to kind of just enable and take away, add different layers um, to really kind of get your own sound, which I think is what we're all after, is to get like a unique sound as a composer or musician. Um, and yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Um, a couple of other features I'll mention. Um, is we have a scale setting up here so it allows you if you're feel not feeling particularly knowledgeable in the theory it allows you to kind of pick um, a specific scale to map to your MIDI keyboard for example the whole tone C scale you know why not um, and it will only play those notes and it has three settings here so if the particular note isn't in that key it will either go to the higher the higher note or the lower note in the scale or you can enable it as silent so you're able to kind of just like have only the notes that you want and some of the keys will be silent depending on what the scale is. There's also a portamento um, option as well and an arpeggiator option you can also alter more sounds kind of make it it's, it's just you can customize so much on this which is fantastic. Um, I really do like the randomized feature though because it gives you a completely different thing each time. I love it. <laughs> it's just fun to sit and play, play around for a while, you know? Obviously, if you don't want to have all the layers and you want a specific type of random sound, you can again enable, for example, the pad like ones. Um, if I just take all this off just now. And then randomize. Now it's only 39 layers, you see, depending on what the filter is. So if I click it again, it will only give me pad-like kind of sort of layers here, so we can kind of... Never know what you're going to get. Like a box of chocolates. Anyway, so that is Astra. Um, so to get to uh, the next one, which is going to be Terra, see we have the sort of um, little folders here. So five is Terra. We can load up Terra here. And again, another stunning interface with the honeycomb I call it the honeycomb, like a beehive kind of section here. And again, you can see the same kind of interface, which is really helpful. Uh, Terra is kind of sampled acoustic instruments um, through cassette tapes, analog tapes, valve preamps, and just very heavily processed. Um, again, some really pretty sounding presets to play with here. Um, so have a little listen. So you can already hear that sounds amaze. <laughs> uh, we have another one here. Big stack. What's big stack? I've only played with a few of these, so I'm actually also kind of finding out what more sounds they have. It's just, I love it. I just love. The extra bits that come on afterwards, just the, the evolving and the development of all these kind of sort of sound layers, it's just, it's great. Um, it is just so easy to get an entirely new sound each time you load this up, which I absolutely love. Um, so that's Terra. I'll have a quick look at the last one, which is Luna. Luna's got more of a grittier sound to it. Um, it's actually done by, and they put synths through guitar pedals, so it's a bit of a darker sound generally with sounds like um say I love that turn up a little bit so this is an arpeggiated one it's just amazing I'm blown away by this entirely blown away by it. 
So again, same idea, you can take away layers, add layers, it's just, it's got lots going on. Um, so yeah, that is my little sort of overview of the Vivum bundle, and I hope that you are as enlightened as I am by it, because I'm like, oh my god, I love it. Um, so yeah, I've been Jess, you've been you, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will catch you next time. Bye for now.